My name is Blaine. I am the Equipment Division Manager for Monolithic. Today we are going to demonstrate the pump and the mixture that we have developed and built here. This is the Integrator SL3. This is the mixture that we build, that we use. It is designed to work with a skid steer loader. We use the universal mount plate. It mounts right where the bucket for the skid steer loader would be. We use the external hydraulic system to turn the paddles on the inside. This mixer is designed with a door on one side on the bottom in order to be able to fill smaller holes, fence post holes, whatever is required. You just simply open the door, let it pour out. The mixer turns such that it will actually bring it over to that door. The paddles that we have inside, there are just the four mixer paddles that rotate either direction. This is in order to be able to mix your mud and if you need to stop for any purpose at all, you can actually go backwards to relieve pressures or whatever. There are some adjustable pads on here so that you can actually get longer wear out of each mixer pad. Okay, we're going to show now how we would load this hopper on the mixer. First off, for the very first time you've ever done one, we would take 10 buckets of sand, dump it into the mixer. We do this by hand the first two or three tries to see just where the level will be. After you put the sand in, turn the paddles on, you can see approximately what you're supposed to have. This will give you an idea so that the next time you won't have to do it the hard way with buckets. And now the experienced man that we have on the bucket is going to show you how we do it after you've had some practice. You notice he just run into the sand pile, shake the mixture back. He's going to take a peek into the bucket now to see where it's at. Now we have the sand churning in the mixture already. Our guys are going to put in two bags of cement now. Type 1 Portland. Drop it on top of the mixer, tear the bag and dump it out. There's one bag, it's still turning dry. There's a second bag. These are the nylon fibers that we use for greater integrity with the cement mix that we use. Okay, we're going to put the water into it now. We have to have the lid open to get the water in with the fibers. Be extremely cautious not to get into this mixer where you can create damage to your body. Now we're going to add the balance of the water. As you can see, he's now balancing out the mix getting it ready for the pump. Okay, he is preparing now to dump into the hopper. Mixer still turning. This mixer is built purposely for this hopper. We walk up to it, tilt it forward. As you can see, we're starting to pour into the hopper now. This is the right consistency that we can spray quite nicely. He's going to get this as much as he can and we're going to have our man come back up here and he's going to scrape the balance of it out. Now he's shaking out moss, he stopped the mixer, going to lift the lid, we're going to scrape out the balance of what's there. What we're doing now is cleaning the mixer. We've done our mixing for the day, we've got to clean up, we take a hose with a spray on it, we'll literally wash down everything in it. This way when we get ready for the day tomorrow, we don't end up with a mess that's going to create problems when we get ready to start pumping. As you can see, he's spraying down the side, he's going to clean off the paddles, just clean everything down very thoroughly.